Yes guys, what's going on and welcome back to the channel. We're in Portugal, come with me. Before we get started, don't forget to give the video a massive thumbs up and hit that subscribe button too. <laughs> Um, so we've had a very bad start to the journey. We were on the way to the airport and get a message from our airline saying our flight's been cancelled. I don't know what's going on with the flights at the moment around the UK, but things are absolutely terrible. So I'm back home with a suitcase full of clothes and Henry's now downstairs on the phone to the airline trying to figure something out. So um, yeah, I have no idea what we're going to do. But yeah, so let's hope I can still make a vlog out of this and let's hope we can get to Portugal. <laughs> Stop Portugal. Let's go. Boom, and we've touched down in Porto Airport and it is nearly 1 a.m. in the morning. HI, do we actually have a driver picking us up? But we can't find our guy anywhere. So let's <laughs> yeah, try and find this guy. We're still sat in the airport. Our transfer apparently, and his car has broken down. Uh, so it's now way past 1am, nearly almost 2am and we're sat here writing this week's newsletter mm. early hours of Monday morning. I think I'm going to catch up with you guys tomorrow. What's up guys and good morning. So H and I have literally just woken up. As you can see, wet head straight out of the shower and we've come down to this beautiful like restaurant area in our hotel, which is just stunning. And the views behind me are ridiculous. I'll show you very shortly. But it's so late. It's like two o'clock, I think, in the afternoon. I'm looking at my clock now, it's two o'clock. Uh, we got out of bed obviously so late because we got in so early this morning. I think we got to bed at like 4 a.m. So yeah, here we are. But look at these views behind me. Absolutely beautiful here. This hotel's unreal. We're just gonna grab a morning coffee, go hunt down a gym, and then just chill out for the day. So yeah, first things first, coffee. Gym. Let's go. So when we're on holiday, we keep things real quick and snappy. Not in the gym for long. We don't want to spend hours in the gym. So upper body today, he'll be in for like 40, 45 minutes. Upper body push, a bit of triceps, a bit of abs, little rest. Yeah, so nice and quick, nice and snappy. So, we just finished in the gym. I feel so much better after that. Like I always say, off a long flight, straight to the gym, just get that movement, get your body moving again, you feel so good. Anyway, just got back to the hotel. Uh, we're staying at a place called Octon Hotels. And they've got, a, well, the whole brand is called Octon Hotels, and this one's called Octon Luar, so I think. Octon Luar, <laughs> I hope I pronounced that right. And it's absolutely stunning. Um, like I said, we arrived really late last night and haven't really scoped out the hotel much yet, but from what I've seen, the place is absolutely stunning. And, uh, yeah, it's an amazing place, but we just got back, back after the gym and we're so hungry. It's literally just hit quarter past three, uh, to half past three, and we've barely eaten. <laughs> so they do an unbelievable thing here, which they should do in every single hotel in the world. And they do a 24 hour breakfast, which is just unbelievable. So you can have breakfast any time of day. I mean, you don't have to wake up at the crack of dawn, you go down to your buffet, tired, you can do whatever you want first and just have breakfast whenever. And breakfast is my favorite meal of the day. So that is unbelievable. So we're gonna have a, a late breakfast now. Uh, what? Yeah, 3.30. <laughs> and then we're gonna chill by the pool and then I'll show you guys around the hotel. Because like I said, this place is dope, so yeah. Let's get walking. First breakfast is, can you stop interrupting my vlog, please, Henry? Not bad. Right, I'm buzzing for little Nata. Yeah, lovely, lovely. With a view. <laughs> That's actually an unbelievable view. With it, but, mate, put the 0 0.5 camera on. This is insane. <laughs> this is next level. Down. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour. But as you see, this is the kitchen kind of area. Henry is making me a lovely coffee. The views are ridiculous. Check out this kind of like dinner area here. 
is fantastic. How cool is this? My, my my hair. I'm sorry. As you can see, the place is absolutely stunning. It is stunning here. It's so nice to switch off a little bit and just really relax in the sunshine. I haven't done this in what seems like forever. So let's go check out the pool <laughs> and the outside area. So this is the front of the hotel. As you can see, it doesn't actually look like much, but it's literally this old kind of building. And this real tranquil, chilled out street. Not much here. I think they've just had some sort of parade festival the last few weeks. Uh, so that's why the flags are up, but it's super chilled. Really old school, beautiful. And this is it. But as you walk through the door, you can see how kind of old school and beautiful it is. Stunning. And that sofa is super comfortable. Cheers, guys. Thank you so much. Thank See you in a bit. Bye-bye. <laughs> so, we left the hotel after sunbathing for a few hours, just chilling out, really relaxing, enjoying the beautiful weather, and we've gone for a 6K hike. What's the hike called again? Oh, dude. Hike called? This is lost me. Ho ho hike the hills? It is, no. The mills. Root of the mills. Root of the mills. A 6K hike. We got to the top. We got to the top. The view behind me is absolutely sensational. It's so peaceful here, I can't explain how peaceful it is and tranquil. But yeah, it's one of the hikes they've got here, into the mountains, into the hills. It's absolutely stunning, I love this. Real tranquil, peaceful, tops off, enjoying the beautiful weather and taking it all in. It's just so nice to kind of be off the planet a little bit. Where we are is literally in the middle of nowhere, I can't explain. Hotel's such a vibe and I can't recommend it enough if you guys just want to get off the planet. It's a little bit old school here, it's chilled. Yeah, it's real nice, but anyway, let's continue back down to the bottom and guys if you're enjoying the video don't forget to give it a massive thumbs up and hit that subscribe button too i really appreciate it i love vlogging i miss vlogging i haven't done it in ages <laughs> peace let's go <laughs> yes tell us now there's a reason i'm carrying this fucking rock henry and me are so lost and we saw some wild boar do you know where on we the are? path so i think done this rock Oh Hello. shit to myself, we're so long, we're miles away from our location. Yes, I can hear you, I can hear you. I don't know where we are. I'll put the rock down though. <laughs> a restaurant, yes, Lilima. Yes, yes. It's quite beautiful though, isn't it? Small place. <laughs> you said the path was meant to be 6k, we've been walking about 8k. 15 minutes. So we can lost. try and walk down the road, it's but beautiful. we just have no idea how to get back. We just followed the routes for the same route we <laughs> got told. We're useless. The shit we get ourselves into. <laughs> in the back of a local's car and he's given us a lift back down the mountain <laughs> henry we are useless anyway we're gonna lift back down and we're actually in an old ford fiesta and henry this is henry's and mine very first car this brings back some memories but hey hey how long do we walk for 18 minutes and how many calories do we burn and how far did we walk oh he stole it how far did we walk I've lost it, mate. I've lost it. Um, it was meant to be a 6k route, and we did like 8k. We did about 6K. Oh, no, it was way further than we that. We had 6k up. 6k just directly up into the 6k round, so we must have taken a long turn. And let Henry lead the way. <laughs> anyway, back down to the hotel. So, well, thank freshen you up very much, and dinner. Yeah, and yeah, this legend. So we we'll took a walk <laughs> from Hotel Ogden. <laughs> Thank you.
So we survived the hike and Henry and I got ready. And this is my OCD for the first evening. What are you guys thinking? I'm sorry, by the way, we're next to a waterfall. I hope you guys can hear me. <laughs> so yeah, wearing these awesome white tailor pants from Gant, this blue shirt and these Jones loafers. And as you can see, it's a pretty cool look and it kind of suits the vibe on them. Look at the sunset behind me. It is so sick. And we've got Pablo Escobar behind the camera. Hey, Lord, Pablo, Pablo Escobar. <laughs> Yeah, we're hungry. Why? No, we survived that hike. I'm ready, some, ready for some food, but yeah. Oh, I'm hungry, bro. Anyway, I thought I'd show you guys the OOTD. Yeah, it's good. It's anyway, dinner time. Let's see what the kitchen, let's see what the chef is cooking up, because your boys are hungry. And it is so, this looks unbelievable. Goat's cheese, vegetables, the ribs. Your boys are hungry. Let's get eating. So we have just landed at Octant Hotel number two. It was a two and a half hour journey from the previous hotel. Mm. Yeah, but we're here safely. It's just at 10 o'clock at night. We decided to spend the whole day at the, um, the other hotel just to really appreciate the sun, the weather, and enjoy our time Vito, there, which is amazing. Um, we've just sat down, glass of wine, big dinner pending. So this is it, but the hotel looks amazing. I will show you guys around in the morning. So we're gonna go some food now and get an early night, or get a reasonably early night. <laughs> yeah, can't wait to see the room and yeah, get food because we're both so hungry. But yeah, chin chin boys, the next remainder of the trip, or the next part of the trip, sorry, and the remainder of the trip as well. I took the waiter six different ways to get a good one. <laughs> Morning gang, what's up? Mind the head bun. Just woken up my hair's obviously as you can tell getting stupidly long now i can start putting it in a man bun but as you can see my gym kit on now i'm obviously off for a workout so yeah we got in late last night as you guys saw we had a late dinner and then henry and i literally just crashed uh, we were just both so exhausted so woke up this morning and you know the drill coffee i've stretched and uh, now it's time for a workout but before the workout i thought i would show you guys around the hotel we've come to octant hotel number two uh, always forget the names of each Hopton Hotel. So the first one we're at Luasa and this one is called by looking at the sign Evora. This is behind me there. <laughs> All the descriptions of the hotels and the information I will put in the description guys to help you guys out. If you ever want to come to Portugal and stay here, these hotels are just unbelievable. So yeah. But I thought first I will show you guys around the hotel because honestly it is stunning here. I feel like I'm in the middle of nowhere but it's so beautiful man. Oh, I love it, it's just so nice. Literally, we had a little mooch around last night and it's just stunning, so yeah. Let me show you guys around and see what you guys think. And then it's literally just a day of chilling in the sun. I might get a massage later, you know, I might just chill out. I'm really enjoying this time, just, just chill out and just kind of get off the beaten track a little bit, which I feel like I am, because if you look behind me, look, look at the fields, I'm literally in the middle of nowhere. It's so nice, so yeah. Let me show you guys around, let's go. behind us we're going to show you guys now they put on this unbelievable spread for us i completely forgot to show you guys because we were both so hungry we were starving. and you know, i just demolished so much food but i mean i think we've had a, it's all laid out a meal for four yeah literally <laughs> if you watch henry's vlog in a bit he'll explain and he will show you the food as well so check out his vlog plug. it was good plug 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 okay because i'm a nice guy and um, yeah we had so much food and this was all spread out literally just for henry and i <laughs> we've got some photos put some photos in here as well it's been pretty sick but this is um this was it this amazing look at Surroundings are it's just unbelievable. unbelievable. It's so beautiful. This hotel is next level, honestly. It's incredible. And um, just I've run you guys through my OOTD now. I'm literally head to toe in Greece. This is from the Che Studios collection. This is a fire, this linen shirt, the linen trousers, and the slime on traders. This is like my go to kind of like summer kind of look, and it's a real vibe. Guys, <coughs> Got that wrong. Not linen shirt. <coughs> it's not a linen y kind of shirt, isn't it? It's not linen. Linen trousers, you don't. Oh, yeah, but it's kind of like a linen y kind of material. Like silk guys. Linen. This is a, this is a nod. Guys, this is a shake. Good timing, by the way. Stay in the camera because 
The lovely ladies that's bought over oh, our dessert. Oh my god, I don't need any more food. <laughs> we don't need any more food, I've said. <laughs> Thank you. That was amazing. Thank you. So, what have you got for us here? So, here we have a selection of fruits, Oof. and here we also have our page devil. That looks very good. Cheers. This looks insane. Thank you so much. You're just trying to get us fat here. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> so guys, check this out. This is the outdoor area. It's a very windy evening. Just the sunset, just missed it a touch over there, but look how beautiful that sun is. Setting down over the hotel. The grounds here are absolutely stunning. During the sunset, this place is gorgeous. It's very windy though. I mean, look at my hair. It's gone a bit crazy. <laughs> it's like so windy. We tried to get some content out here during the evening. And um, the wind was just so, so harsh, but we managed to get some stuff in, so it shouldn't be too bad. We had a little stroll on the hotel. We're gonna go some dinner now. Your boys are hungry. Yeah, just some dinner, and then I'm gonna edit some stuff on my laptop, and then get to bed early. <laughs> I'll catch you guys tomorrow morning. Peace. I'm holding Henry's YouTube TikTok stand. So yeah, ignore this. <laughs> Dinner is served. We've got the fish with I don't know what that's like a potato something, and then we've got some glory steak. Which looks so damn good. How good that looks. I get mine so rare. All rarish. Now with these sweet potato fries. Let's dig in, boy. In Portugal for what, three or four days, four days now? Feeling good. Mind the hair again, sorry. My hair has been the worst it's ever been on this vlog because I'm lying in the seat, sun and everything, it just goes a bit floppier and crap. But yeah, um, so right now, we're gonna go check out. I'm gonna go shower, check out, and have a final dinner here, and then we're gonna go and head to Lisbon. I'm very excited for that. So yeah, um, we've got a transfer, picking us up at about two hours. Have a go and shower now, freshen up. Last dinner here at Octons, and then we're gonna go to Lisbon where we've got a hotel booked in there. So yeah, guys, I'll catch you in Lisbon in the morning. Peace. Yes guys, what's going on? Hope you're good. So, like I, said, I left you guys yesterday, walking around Octon Hotels before we got a taxi. All the way over to Lisbon, which landed in Lisbon. I got in late last night, checked in, went to bed about one o'clock in the morning. And I'm just waking up, you know, this drill, first things first, getting a workout in, we're here. Staying in, I think this hotel is called Lux Lisbon, I think. Yeah, that's one we booked. It's nice. It's really cool, it's got an awesome little cool gym, check this place out, like techno gym equipment, all like really fancy. Everything's like electrical, so even like in the room. Uh, everything's like all done by like buttons on the wall and stuff. Like not like, like you know, like not normal buttons, but like uh, electrical things, it's all right done like Tony Stark tech, stuff like that, you know what I mean? But it's all good. So yeah, gym's basic, but yeah, it's got, it's got equipment here for us. Crack on with the workout and now finishing up here, grab a bit of food and then we're gonna go explore Lisbon. Well, of course, I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. But guys, if you are enjoying this vlog so far, please don't forget to give it a massive thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And if you're not following and you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, please. I really appreciate it. Oh, rooftop in Lisbon, by the way. How vibey is this? Jacuzzi, which is out of service, sun loungers, and this kind of like cool pool. Sick, that isn't it? Just perfect. Being in Harbour Lisbon in the gym, obviously, is really good as well. It's got this out here in the gym, and it's just really nice being about one kilometer away from the city and just having this access to this every day is just perfect. So, if you don't want to go to the city every day, come and chill up here, have a gym workout, also on your doorstep, and the pool is insane. Beautiful. Breakfast of champions. We got the eggs, egg whites only, salmon, ham, bread, fruit, some vegetables. Boom, Henry's is I like, bring this up to our room, put it in the fridge, and then we work out and then we eat. You work just, out, just eat, work out, say. eat, Perfect. work out, eat. Get off my vlog. Yes. We're on each other's vlog to vlog to vlog. I might as well get your videos and then you can like. Just so transfer them over. It'd be quite a good idea, actually. Okay, cool. Point of view. So, should work out now? <laughs> should work out now? So, guys, after our normal morning routine of coffee, workout, and a big breakfast, we decided to put our shoes on and just go explore Lisbon. Literally, this city is mad. It's beautiful to say the least, but make sure you wear comfy shoes because it is so hilly. It's unbearable. But we just cruised around the city on a beautiful day. This is my OOTD here. I had to change these shoes and run into a shop and pick up a pair of flip-flops because honestly my shoes, my feet were in so much pain. But yeah, the city's amazing. I can't recommend it enough. Just make sure you wear comfy shoes. It's beautiful. And then we decided to stop off and pick up some famous natas. You can find the famous Portuguese pastries on literally any street corner and they taste incredible. <laughs> That's good. Go 
we were warning all the exploring Lisbon and we touched down at the time out market. Me and Henry here. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, and we've gone for the fish place, the place of Frank. I look really red today. Oh, the sun, the moon's off Never heard of it, man. Yeah, this place is mega. Check out this behind me. There's so much here. It's absolutely huge. And there's so many choice of restaurants and cuisines. So yeah, super excited for this. So the timeout market is pretty cool and has so many choices, but it is just a tourist hotspot. I'd highly recommend downloading the One Zone app and you can find some awesome hotspots in Lisbon. Um, here just gets really, really touristy, but again, we were on the, it was there. Henry was like, mate, let's go check it out. And yeah, as you can see, it's got loads of different varieties in food and it is pretty hot, but be careful, it's boiling inside. <laughs> this is the gaff we've gone for, fresh seafood, and it is called Montemar. It looks banging, so we're going to go for the sharing platter. Plenty of seafood and a big bowl of live risotto rice. Place looks a vibe. Because Henry loves the seafood. My choice. It's ready, baby. Go get it. Go get it. Your boys are hungry. Go get it. Go get it. Let's go. Let's go. That only took about 25 minutes. Jeez. <laughs> Oh, that's good though. Bang it. Just what the doctor ordered. Thank you, Montemar. Another thing about Lisbon I absolutely love is they have these little bars dotted all around the city where you can have some drinks, a little bit of food, and just chill out and just soak up all the atmosphere. Trust me, they're a real vibe. So H and I have dropped down this rooftop bar and check out this sunset. It's absolutely stunning over the heart of Lisbon. It's a real vibe up here. It's a little bit windy, but it's nice and chilled and a pretty good vibe. And the sun is beautiful. Look at the sunset reflecting all these clouds and these birds and planes flying over. It's so sick. Like, Day two in Lisbon, Henry and I are just getting ready for another evening out. Gonna check out, check out the castle and go for a little sunrise walk and stuff like that. Sunrise, sunset walk. <laughs> and this is my OOTD for the evening. Henry's Reese shirt, which is Henry's vibe. trousers. Very well. sick. We've actually got the same trousers at home. I didn't bring one with me, but they are yours, yeah. yeah. Everything yeah. is Reese, and then the Axo Arigato uh, trainers, which are a vibe. This is a vibe little outfit, though. I'll put all the links to the outfits in the description below so you guys can shop if you like anything you see. But yeah, let's go check out more of Lisbon. And of course, I'm bringing you guys along with me. Let's go. I don't know what it is, but whenever Henry and I go away, we always see him just going to McDonald's. Cold, ice cold diet coke. I find whenever you're on the streets rolling around and you can't find that and you don't want to sit down and have a coke or anything, ice cold for McDonald's just tastes so damn good. Just love it. Or if you sit down at a restaurant, you get one in a bottle because I think drinks in bottles taste so much nicer than drinks in cans. Like, that's what I believe. Beer, coke, water, everything in a bottle is way nicer. Yeah, anyway, off to the castle. Uh, it's about five o'clock here. So we've been chilling by the pool all day. Our last day in the sun, so we thought, let's try and soak up as many rays as possible. Now off to the castle, get a bit of content, and then try and find a cool little local Portuguese restaurant. So yeah, cheers to that. Oh yeah, I got a woman way over time. That's good to me. So we got back from Portugal, what was it, two or three days ago now? Uh, H and I were working on the flat, we've literally come straight back to work. It's time to end this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the vlog. It's my first vlog in I think a year. I haven't done it in ages, so I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you haven't enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a massive thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And guys, we'll see you in the next one. Peace out!